We play and call it work. Hey there, Wargamers, and welcome to another episode of The Open Vault. It is me, Cullen, and this is a behind the scenes show where I walk around and show you guys what's up on a daily basis. And this week is the week before, well, yeah, week, week before Christmas. And this will actually be my last open vault for 2018. So, uh, in the vault, there's always a vault portion of this show. And over there, I'm going to be doing a what is your favorite moment of 2018 for some of the content producers here and some of the other employees. So if you want to see that, make sure to check out the video in the vault. Should be the link in the description down below. And of course, if you're not already a vault member, you can get yourself a seven day free trial. But let's just get into what is going on today. And I've got quite a few guests in. Um, as for me, I am I have this to do and some other little things. So let's just turn you around to this computer. Um, this is the new Heroes of Herrenberg thumbnail I created for the D&D show, which again was filmed yesterday, or live streamed yesterday, which is Tuesday at 12.30 Eastern Standard Time. Now next week, because Tuesday when we normally do our live stream, um, it will be on Thursday, because Tuesday is obviously Christmas. So we're not going to be working, but we still want to get the show in, and because it's going to be on Thursday and Typically I film these on Wednesday, that's Boxing Day in Canada, which is another holiday. So it pretty much means I'm not going to have time to film one next week. So this will be the last one for the year. And of course, as soon as we get into January, they will start coming out just as normal, just like this year. So that's kind of my life right now. Nothing uber exciting. Um, we actually just recently got a new camera in. Ooh, it's not in this box, but, ooh, box, it. oh, come on, ooh, camera, it's a fairly nice one, and uh, it's going to actually help doing some of, uh, some new live shows in the new year, so keep out, or, you know, keep a lookout for those kind of things if you're into our live streaming, they're on Twitch, and then we're going to come through and see Chris walking into his office, and, oh, look, there's hey, Mike, how's it going? What are we up to, Mike? Oh, yawning. Yawning? I'm tired. It's afternoon! I know, I know. Hey, look, we got some new stuff here. Ooh! Some new free, free people! Free or people. Free, yeah, free guild, free people. Free, we got yeah. some outriders, some pistoliers, handgunners in there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, some swordsmen looks like. Yeah, More stuff good. in there. Yeah, those need to be fixed. Those are okay. Bit, those are a little broken. Those are the casualties of shipping. Yeah, but we got some other unfinished stuff that I have to ship back out. Okay. Place so he couldn't finish the mission, so but we'll get it, back. It happens, right? There's some stuff here, but other than that, we're just plugging along. Okay. Okay. Nothing. Uh, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy for you. I just made some posts today, and y'all agreed tour is not gonna be on Saturday. Um, okay. That's a sad, some sad news I did deliver today. Mm -hmm. we'll be back on the 12th of January. Okay. So that's good news. They can uh, keep it. In, uh, yeah, it's that end of the year kind of thing. Scheduling, right? It's hard to get everybody in. And, For sure. And we have lots of guests coming in every day, so finding time to film you on your tour has just been tough. But yep. We'll be back. It's going. It's going. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll uh, li leave you to it and pop over to Rob. What are we working on here, Robbie? Well, hello there. Why, why, why you gotta be so creepy? Cause I'm creepy. <laughs> 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 I'm just plugging away, just finishing up a battle report. Okay. And then just waiting for the second part to be filmed so I can add it to this one. Ah, uh, this is the half of a pairing you have right now? Yes. Okay. But uh, anything uh, crazy with you, I guess, is it is it busy for you near the end of the year or are you, you just kind of fairly caught up and... Uh, I am caught up, but it can get busy. It's all dependent on to what shows are going to be released on the holiday weekend, or the holidays, I should say. So I want to cut, make sure I have all that covered right. so that it can still be posted. Mm -hmm. yep. Because nobody's going to come in and work on Christmas Day and, you know, that, that sort of thing. So it's better to get them done now. Right. Okay, okay. Anything, anything else? No? Mm -hmm. My father stream up really well. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And were you, so you were playing Fallout the uh, miniature game? The board game. The board game, okay. With miniatures. It does come with miniatures. But yeah, it was fun. Fun? I'll do it again. Nice? Yes. Yes. And again, if they want to find you, where are you at? Uh, 
on YouTube and Twitch, Facebook and Instagram, Board Game Maniacs. So there you go. If you want to check out Rob and what he does, shameless plug. Exactly. Shameless plug. <laughs> well, there. you always ask me every week. So. I know. It's. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. I, I just want. I want, to, I want to share the love. Yeah. And I do have to say, I'm kind of sad that Young Veer and Tor ain't going to be out. You know, it's, it's actually yeah. been super entertaining. Yeah, it is. It's very entertaining. It's a lot of fun to work on, too, as well. I bet. Yeah, what is the, the deliver gifts this year? He's off right now. Another great adventure. Exactly. His little Torlings. Tor Torlings? Yeah, and Yogverlings. Yogverlings. <laughs> nice. Yeah, see, I thought of that. I got kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm going back to work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're just going to pop in to see what Chris is up to. And Chris is looking like he's getting ready to film. Ooh, what do you got? Uh, I'm going to do a quick little uh, promotional video for uh, Gamers Gamers Grass. So they've, uh, they're going to be sponsoring a video. Okay. And so this is um, a newer company, I believe. Um, they basically sell... Uh, like you know, like the grass tufts. The classic like grass tufts, yeah. But they come in nice, odd shapes. You know, more organic shapes. It looks like. Um, okay. Rather than just the kind of standard kind of drop tufts kind of thing. Yep. So I like that. Uh, and they offer like. A I've seen so many different colors over there. Yeah, like they offer like these things ones that are more like shrubbery. They got yeah. a nice texture on them. Uh, they offer. I mean, all this, this will all be in the video. Of course, they offer like flowers in various colors. There's four in this package. The wow. Set. Uh, here's just more flowers. Yeah, so they have like a purple, yellow, and a white. Like a snow one. Yeah. Those are super cool. And these ones here, these are for Alien Worlds. I think this is fantastic. Blue, green, and red. Ooh, like, look at that. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's really cool, isn't it? Uh, so, I mean, for anybody out there who wants to do like, you know, like Alien Worlds or Fantasy Realms or, you know, whatever. And just making some that. super nice looking bases, right? Yeah, and then they offer these uh, pre-made bases. As well, this one here is battle ready, battle ready bases is what they're calling it. And they all come out pre, ooh, and a couple yeah. different designs. Yeah, different sizes. This one here is like uh, kind of a meadow, kind of rocky meadow. This one's like, I don't know. I don't even know what you'd call yeah, that. Like, uh, I don't know, like a wasteland or something. Sure, yep. And they got another one here, it's kind of got a reddish. More like a Mars pattern or something yeah, like something that. Something those lines, right? And then also they got like snowy ones here. Ooh, as well. those ones are really nice. Yeah, like the rocks. Like there's tons of texture on them, and they're ready to go. And you know, I mean, like I think that's, I think it's fantastic. I like the idea of the different colored grass tufts. I think that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I love the flowers and stuff like that. And there's, you know, you don't see a lot of these more interesting choices being displayed in people's uh, uh, models and stuff like that. And so. And I find a lot of the times. Bases are kind of an afterthought. Sometimes, yeah. But and when you in, get in display kind of painting and competition type painting, a oh, lot of care is taken into the right. bases. Right. And uh, some tournament type armies where they're judged on their armies. Yes. That's where you know you see a lot of the same kind of stuff, and it's like it's very interesting when somebody makes it very interesting choices and such. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, it's it's I, I like it. I mean, uh, I'm just about to start filming it, and uh, uh, not you know raving about it, but you know. Kind of going through it, and then quickly as well, I'll quickly show. This will probably, probably might be seen probably sometime before the holidays, maybe even this Friday after this video goes up. Um, so um, I'll be showing, like, basically just quickly using the tufts, as well as, you know, obviously probably uh, throwing a model onto a base and showing how, you know, how easy it is to use these bases, right? For anybody out there who's never used a product like this, uh, you know, we're going to quickly just show how somebody can quickly use this product. I mean... Buying one of these, I mean, like, it's going to save you a ton of time. And you already get a fantastic look. i got to do the old man look. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, this one here has got flowers on it and grass tufts and, like, various rocks. And uh, I believe they also partnered with another company for these bases. So Okay. So Because are, are they cast or the MDF? I, I believe they're cast bases. Um, this is the first time I'm cracking one open myself <laughs> here, so... Yeah, they're resin because I can see they're flat. They're the they're fully solid. Yeah. 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 And so they're just adhered to this little paper backing, and away they go. And yeah, I mean, for out, for anybody out there who's you know him and hot about what kind of bases they should do and stuff like that, yeah, these guys have like a lot of options as far as these bases, mm -hmm. and I do believe they're reasonably priced. And so, yeah. Very very nice. Yeah. So. That's that, and of course, you know, uh, th at the time of this filming, we started uh, posting the uh, 
Painting Academy videos in the vault. Ooh. So vault members are going to get basically early access to that as the um, project is nearing completion. So Okay, because you're not fully finished it. No. But, but you've got but, a decent queue going, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we probably will end up posting everything even before what we've got scheduled. We'll probably end up just scrapping what we had scheduled and just lump it all in once it's all done. Cause okay. We'll be, we'll be done before that. So I see. Yeah, we're, we're we're at the point now where we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, so it, no, it's it's all good, and uh, yeah, um, but yeah, that's that's really where I'm at right now. All right, it's not mm. terribly exciting, but but I am excited about these things. These Th those are very cool. The, 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 when when they, when uh, Mike had shown me these. I was like, these were the first things that jumped at me. I was like, well, these... On camera, these ones show up more green, but here, if I, yeah, if I get closer, it's very much like a turquoise kind of... Yeah, almost, yeah. Like, these ones here are very saturated blue, but in fact, mm -hmm. there's a bit of, like, a almost like a purple at their base. Okay. Yeah, like, where they get really close together, it looks like a, almost like a purple, but... And I, what I, the other thing I like, too, again, is the choice on how they did them. They're random, kind of uh, organic-type shapes. They're not just, like, little perfectly round top. Those little, almost like you can you can tell that it's like a little glue spot and... Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. These, you know, some care went into arranging this, I would assume. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea how they make them. Um, but they're fantastic. I, I think these are just too much fun. This one here, like it's a red, but it's got like yellows and pinks at play. Yeah, again, things that just don't show up as well on yeah. camera, but... Yeah, like, in person, yeah, it's, it's got like a dried ends to it almost. Yeah. It gives like, it just that much more life. And it's just, it's just too much darn fun. And, <laughs> yeah, this one here is 70 little tufts, 70 tufts. So you can that's do a, a lot of models with that. For sure. But yeah, that's where we're at. And uh, All right. Yeah. I will leave you to it. All right. Well, I left you microphones, by the way, yeah, if you didn't I see. I already changed the batteries out. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right. And then we get Aaron. Just doing some shipping? Yep. What are we shipping out today? Uh, some commission stuff. Okay. Some for the... Star Drake, some Reaper Coins, a base. Some miscellaneous stuff? Yeah. Okay. Stuff that's just gotta be finished up. Okay, cool, cool. Anything fun happening with you? Any fun Christmas plans? Yeah, I'm gonna be here in Bristol week. <laughs> Yay! Because I need my vacation hours. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Got some stuff coming up in the new year that you want yeah. to uh, save that time for, right? Yeah, I definitely kind of got a couple other things planned, a couple other conventions I want to go to. Okay. So. Not the not the most exciting Christmas, but you know. That's okay. You'll have a couple days off at least, and holidays. I'm old. Christmas isn't very exciting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this is my first Christmas where I've like actually had to work. <laughs> really? Yep. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm like... You are so young. I know, I'm like, hmm, this is... Yep, that's that's real. That, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, well, most of the time I've been away at school and stuff, right? Yeah. Huh. Well, ain't that an interesting... You like your shopping done, at least? Yes, I have one more thing. My family does an annual, like, communal... Everyone buys, like, a random gift, and we do, like, a gift draw kind of thing. Okay. Where, you know, you can steal presents from other people and that kind oh, of stuff. Yeah, so yeah, no, okay. That's yeah. <laughs> I'm literally thinking about buying like a big Tupperware container and filling it with miscellaneous bags of chips. I can go for some chips right now. <laughs> right? Right? I was like, I want something that people will want to steal. And yeah. who doesn't love chips? Especially all dressed. Yeah. Yeah. That one's got to be in there for yep. sure. Get some Doritos in there. Maybe some other candies. Maybe some tortilla chips. Some queso. Yeah. Just go all out. Just do everything. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, I will leave you to carefully wrapping that fun dragon. Oh, yes. This will be a thing. Yeah. Hopefully it makes it in one piece. If not, it's not a problem. <laughs> That's true. It is going to a commission painter. So in here, we have... I have... I, I don't know why all Steve's armies are out. Or why all of his dark angels are out. That's interesting. Hmm. But obviously, the... Fantasy studio slash D&D &D studio All set up from yesterday and again, I don't know where these came from or whatever over here the second computer uh, I just have the 
stream from yesterday all in there edited ready to go i just got to hit render but it's such a long video that i want to make sure i can get these videos done put them up there and then i'll probably hit go on the export here at the end of the day just because i don't want to make this video a little late for tomorrow so that one's all ready to go and it's fairly simple it just involves taking out the a little bit of the beginning the dropping the break out so it's just a constant actual video and you know there's nothing that anybody who just wants to watch the video has to skip and all that fun stuff so yeah nothing nothing crazy interesting going on in here after the D&D show because it requires all of our mics it just means I have to redistribute everybody's stuff and same with the tripods they we have not all of them but there's enough that people can still do stuff on the days we're doing it but let's just go in and see what someone's up to I hear them talking. Yeah. Open vault. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Matthew and guest. Phil. Phil. Phil, nice to meet you, Phil. Nice to meet you. And what are we doing in here? We're playing Ooh. Sisters of Battle. Ooh, what is this? And he, Phil has brought a converted Space Marine Astro Military Army that looks like Halo. Wow. So it's pretty cool. That is, that is very cool, sir. I showcase it's, it a lot in the video. You can show it off a bit here, but I, I do spend a lot of time in the video showcasing Just kind of go over to some of these guys here, which are Rough Rider conversions. Yeah. Yep. Very, very cool. And we've got another tank here. And you got Master Chief in the, in the... Oh, we got Master Chief? Oh, that's fantastic. Super nice. <laughs> Was that all done your conversions? Yeah, this is all me. I did those. Very good work. That's too, super took cool. Took too long to do it. <laughs> <laughs> One of those ideas that at the beginning you're like, yeah, this sounds great. Halfway through you're like, why have I done this to myself? <laughs> so we just play in a regular game of 40k or something new from Chapter Approved. Well, one of the new mission or one of the new um, missions from Chapter Approved. Okay. With the Beta Codex from Chapter Approved, using all their new stratagems and acts. So it's really neat. They got they got a lot to them. I don't want to give away how the battle report's going. Of course. Both sides have taken casualties. That's all I'll say. Okay. <laughs> We're not done yet. Very, very nice. It's interesting that I feel like every time we do open vaults, we're typically doing like a campaign. I know. I don't I don't play a ton of regular battle reports just because I'm always doing narrative campaigns. I know. But yeah, no, I'm doing a lot of them this week. My plan this week is to try to get half a dozen filmed. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of Sisters of Battle. My plan also is to play at the new table that Lee built. So you should see that come up in the next few weeks. Right, we've, had, we've been sitting we've on that had, for a little for a while. while. We just haven't found a good occasion to use it because it takes a lot of time to sit up. Mm -hmm. And then once we play on it, then the train, we can just divvy up the train and start using that in regular battle reports. Exactly, you just want to, the first time showing the stuff off all in the one big... I think it's also that people just keep forgetting it's over there because it's off in the corner. Yeah, there's people that too. The terrain, they don't think to grab that terrain. Mm -hmm. But it'll be fun. Nice. But there's not much else to tell. You can stay tuned for this beat map bat rep with Phil, and I actually really go over the models. Also on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash miniwargaming, and Instagram, same thing. I know Mike is, by the time you watch this video, will probably have already shared some of the pictures, maybe, or maybe he'll be sharing it once the bat report goes out. But uh, yeah, we talk about how you do all the conversions, what models they're built from, all that stuff. We cover that all in the battle report. Very nice. Something to look, forward to look forward to for anyone who likes converting and doing all this fun kind of stuff, making their own custom stuff. And I, okay, and I will just leave you to it then. Right, Have fun. Awesome. And out I go. So I believe we've got Luca in here with Jake, somebody who's been in since Monday. Oh, right away. Open vault, Luca. Don't yeah, try to no, scare me. No, we're here. Okay, good. Yeah. It gets a little too predictable. Hey, Jake. How you doing? Oh, not too bad. We got some... Is this Death Guard, Luca? Yeah, this That's is what Death Luca's Guard. playing. This is Death Guard with a, against Adeptus Mechanicus with a couple of knights. Well, the one knight and two armager, or two war One war blade, one Helver Helverin. Okay, So cool, a small cool. detachment of knights supporting the, the mechanic. I'm not, you know what, spo spoilers, spoilers, folks. I'm running, what is back here? I know, it's that thing. I don't Why know. is that it's thing in here? It's supposed uh, to be. Dave had it for our game here yesterday. Ah, uh, here, Luca, go around that side. Oh, okay, I'll go over here, so we're walking to it. And Yay. The shot. That's right. Makes my life easier. <laughs> spoilers, I'm just, it's not going well at all. Oh, no. It's for me. I did make four six up saves. He made, bro. yeah, he made, on, on, not on anything, not important. An Imperial Knight that was going to take like six to ten damage. Oh, jeez. Yep, six up saves. 
and then he resisted a few mortal wounds, and then he made three four up saves from plasmas. Yeah, it was bit You sound so happy about it, no. Luca. He was he no. he's, I'm, he's, he's I don't care about he's vocally yeah. conceded thrice. Yeah, oh yeah. no. Yeah, it's, it's one of those games where I'm just it's just me being a baby complaining all game. <laughs> like, uh I can see. Uh, okay. I can see. Okay. All For, the, Further spoilers, the first oh. on Monday when I played this list against Steve Steve's Orcs, yeah. on turn one I lost both the Helverins, the Onager, and two of my squads. Oh jeez. To, to nineteen hits from eighteen shots cause orcs. Yeah. So. Cause orcs. For whatever reason, Steve's orcs kind of steamroll over most opponents I've well, played. The fact he always steves the initiative means he always rolls sixes, which is what orcs yeah. want to see, which Exactly. He's playing, he's, playing, he's, he's playing shooty arcs, hitting a fives rolling ones across the board, but he's getting like ninety percent hits. Uh huh. Somehow. Yeah. Oh, it's, it was good though. It's fun. It's, well, it's something to see. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's an experience. Yeah. yeah, yeah Who yeah. sees that? How often do you see that? Oh, only when you play Steve or watch Steve play orcs. And it's only orcs! Because he'll play any other army and it'll just be the, uh, the, war, the worst rolls. The worst rolls. Right. Angels? He's, he has terminators yeah. that can't make their saves, right. all that kind of yeah. stuff, right? Like orcs hit on fives, no problem. <laughs> it's like orcs in Blood Bowl. Oh, I pick up on a six, throw on a five, catch on a five, uh, touchdown. Yeah, oh, what? That should have happened? Yeah. <laughs> right. It's just orcs in general have whatever whatever nature is behind the army or the, the idea of orcs. Just always seems to come out. Right, that's why Games Workshop makes them hit on fives, because uh, anything else would be far too much. Right. <laughs> All right, very cool. And again, Jake, you've been in for the past three days. Yeah, actually, I was supposed to be here Monday and Tuesday, and then this morning came in to pick up my stuff and yeah. uh, got asked if I'd like to play Luca today. So. Oh, nice, nice. I, I struggled for a while, because... Josh and I were, we were going to do Death Watch, and then he's like, oh, are you going to play 40k? And I'm like, I can do 40k. And then it turns out I couldn't do 40k because I couldn't decide on an army. <laughs> just I just went back like to the exact same list. Yeah, I'm like, I'll play Death Guard today. I'm like, no, I don't, no, no, not Death Guard today. Not Death Guard. I'll play, no, not Necrons. Maybe I'll play Corn. He's like, oh, Dave played Corn. I'm like, oh, I can't play Corn then. <laughs> uh, it took me an hour, so over an hour for, to make an for army. For those that don't work at Mini Wargaming, when it takes a guy an hour to decide which of the many armies yeah. they're going to yeah. first world problems, right? It, it, right. It's awful. It's You're like, I have everything, but I want none of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I ended up going back to my own personal army, which okay. is it's just like a Terminator, Terminator heavy list. Yep. So playing that, trying that out. So far, not going so great, but you know, what happens. <laughs> Uh, you never know what could happen. This is only turn two. I haven't and, lost a lot. I'm and just not, I, I gave up first turn because what's refreshing is if the new chapter approved scenarios. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. actually an advantage to giving up turn one to go in second again. So right, that feels different and nice. So there's there's the actual. Advantage. Are you playing a chapter approved mission from the book yeah, or Eternal Turn of War mission one? Okay. Yeah. Nice, up. nice. It's, it's have you intelligence something like have that, you or played or? the number of them or is this I played, this my third one I played one of them against Steve on mm -hmm. Monday with yeah. the central objective and then you control it by being within 18, 15, 12 as the turns go okay uh, and no involve saves in 12 inches at the center so oh, that's, that's different cool. it was neat yeah. oh, okay. I guess that's a good way of stopping someone from camping in normal saves in the middle like just a big storm shield blob on there so. yeah, I feel like that's cool. one of the kind of things that gets overshadowed sometimes with the yeah. everyone wants to see the new army rule changes and all that but they forget that you know, there's a bunch of new scenarios and scenarios a scenarios feeling fun. fresh. And, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the scenarios always keep it fresh. This one is, this one's actually a little more Age of Sigma. It which feels is, like yeah, it's a little than yeah. Fun. From what I'm used to, it's fine. Yeah, I like. Nice. It. It's always nice to get a little bit of a different feel to some games, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm just debating on what to do. This is only turn two. I haven't lost a lot, but I'm just. Oh man. I'm making saves. You know what? I won't complain. You're making I'm, I'm making saves. I'm making You're saves. Making saves. But, you just can't hurt anything. I can't hurt, which is so frustrating. <laughs> As well, we're basically we're both making six. Yeah, like as a war giver, you want to kill things. You don't want right, you want you want to see the models removed from the I table. Don't care not if mine stick around. I want yours to go away. You're, <laughs> sorry, you're supposed to endurance. Just stick around, eat it, and then eventually we get tired, go home, and you win. <laughs> Maybe that'll happen. On that is seven. that is very death guard. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to be a part of this. I'm leaving now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Well, I will let you guys uh, get on to that. I am out. Let see me, you later. Let me get you one day. No. No, you won't. Yeah. New place. Maybe at the bunker. There's a lot more places to hide. And of course, Dave is doing the Shrine of Chaos, which happens every Wednesday at 1 p.m. So again, it's kind of tough for him to be in these videos because he's doing his live stream. But if you want to check out Dave, then make sure to tune into the Shrine every week and you can get an update on him and what he's planning and doing and all that fun stuff. Hello, hello. Yeah.
We got an open vault. Hello. Oh, yo. Actually, I gotta put something outside the room. Oh, am I not supposed to see something? No, no, no. I just okay. We're at a side table because somebody took them all. Oh, and that might or might not have been me. <laughs> I mean, I took, there used to be two school desks in the corner there, and I took one for the uh, sit and talk, and then Matthew took one for D&D. &D. Sure. So, and of course, Dan from Max Aggression Gaming. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Always in. Are you? Yeah. Are we selling an army today? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, actually. These ones are for sale, yes. And okay. And all of my orcs. This game is, not, this is what's dead right now, but it's okay. So this I did in a day. Whoa, all in one day? Yeah, we have these painting competitions at my store where we do okay. uh, Like, it's like a challenge, see how much you can complete. That's awesome. I, I, I finished building it at like noon, and then I just kept going hard on it, but. So we got uh, some speed freaks, yep. and then a couple uh, bad moons over there. Yep, this guy's Kip Ash here, he's a war boss. Nice. With the squig on his shoulder, basically, <laughs> Super nice. Yeah, this will be on my website and Tell where to find them, right? on eBay. Yeah, it, so go on uh, www.maxaggressiongaming. It's like two a two G's and two S's. People, there you go. That's Perfect. always a weird thing. It's almost like you wore that shirt for a reason. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I need a new one though. It's got holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> it is very yeah. well painted, and orcs are so amazing. Right oh now. my god! Because it's a we are doing orcs on orcs. I was gonna say this yeah. is a full orc civil war here. Oh, oh yeah. buddy, this clan is trying to find out who's in charge. It's gonna be in, in the middle yeah. of somebody else's village. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the <laughs> remains of the village. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Maybe maybe it was like they got together to take <laughs> out the orcs. Well, they, they got together to take out the village, and then they after yeah. what, afterwards they're like, we need more things saying, to fight. Uh, no, no, are you saying some orcs want a country cottage or something? Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Would you see an orc living in this? Orc, no, so much fun to play. I know, like like they'll give me spoilers away to turn one, the vengeance. Yes. The ve <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Some things. Some things happened. I'm not doing awesome. good, but I rolled an 11. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Not sure what that means, but... It was vengeance. Yeah. Vengeance! Yes. There's so many fun things and <sighs> ways to run orcs. Like, I'm pretty sure I was just going to sell this and go on to the next thing. But I think I'm going to do... Like, you're saying the dread. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. yeah. I it's pure killer cans and death dreads. Cans. Ooh. Just running at you. Yeah. Nice. Or, or scorches, I mean. Yeah, I, I don't know. know. I, I, I can't don't know what to out. pick. Oh, the drill. I think I like the drill. I don't like the drill at all. But yeah, I it's like a mortal claw. wound, but the claw. The claw? Yeah, uh, yeah. I like the strength thing. The saw is plus one attack. So I keep going back and forth. I want to do the dread maw with uh, rocket launchers. Yeah, it's hard when it's a free. Yeah, or you, if you have scorches, which are expensive, you're probably yeah. not going to ever shoot them twice. No. You should kill them. Yeah, someone right? should be. Yeah, there would be yeah. somebody getting up there. I did it once in a game, that's it, but I've only played with these. This is the Vigilist thing is pretty cool. Yes, we're both using a Vigilist. Vigilist. Uh, oh, okay. So you're using two, right? Yeah, I got two. Yeah, nice. Two I spent all my CPs before the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you had, uh, how many did you have? I knew it was a bad idea. Which one? Yeah, I had one. You started the game with one. You with one. Because I, I had three guys with relics. I had uh, two different kinds of uh, yeah, speed like calls. You know, I just... You know, yeah, who needs them, right? Random. Roll well good enough the first time. Yeah. That's yeah, fair. <laughs> and so, obviously, uh, Steve, this is your, well, yes. most of it is your personal yeah, all work army. Yeah, aren't actually. <laughs> no, those are the studio that yeah. happen to be painted properly. But everything else yellow is mine. Oh, and everything how, else on a brown base is mine. So you're, again, f still fairly new because you haven't had this army for this too long? This is my third game. Oh, okay. I played my second game yesterday. So I made mistakes in that one, I'm going to get the same ones in this one. <laughs> Classic, as sometimes I, that I, happens. I love them to death. I love them to death. Good. They're good, man. Awesome. Just and again, you bought most of it painted now, and you plan yes. on still adding things to yeah, it, though? You, I don't know if you're heading back to the back office. There's a bunch of. I started there, so. Okay, yeah, so I got a bunch on that desk. I got a bunch on my desk at home. Okay. My battle wagons are almost done, actually. And I got more boys that are almost done. And then I got my. Yeah, putting a bunch of, stuff, bunch of stuff home for the holidays and going to them all off. Right, right. You're actually one of the only ones who's actually taking most of the holidays off. Yeah. But not for the reason anybody thinks. I'm taking, time, I'm taking time off. Okay, so painting right now for me is really, really slow. I'm taking time off the slow. Yeah, like... <laughs> mm -hmm. I find I paint at like the middle of the night. That's the only time I can paint. Because I got to <laughs> run my store and I got to like do this. And I got a dog now. Yeah. Oh, oh. There's a store dog. You've been the store. Yeah. <laughs> I would like... <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody wants to go in a game yeah, store with dog. It always smells bad enough in there as it is. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna let you guys get back to it. Have a good game. Oh.
All right, so that has been a oh look. There's Steve's Mork and or Gorkonaut. I'm actually not 100% on who it is. Uh, here's some of his other stuff here. For if we if anybody hasn't seen it yet, some of the boys. There's a knob there. But that is pretty much all that. Oh wait, there he is. I thought you were gonna be downstairs. No, I didn't make it that far down. What's up? Still enough stuff going on. Hello. So wait. The, I only assume this is the, the the open vault. Yeah. Does that mean I like walk past you talking to myself with the camera? Probably. Yeah, I think you did. Which way did you come from? I think I came in that way. I definitely came in that way. Yeah. Hmm. Didn't People even walk notice you. Around talking to themselves all the time here. That's not a new. That's not a new thing. True. I guess it's. Does that mean it's Wednesday? It does. Okay. I know. I, it's, it's been a little bit of a blur lately. Mm-hmm. I'm very busy. But, uh, good. Very good. So I'm trying to think of the, uh, what have I got going on? I, I think the main thing that I'm trying to work on today is just, um, there's a ton of emails. So. Okay. There's people where, like, my usual response time is I can usually get to people within 48 hours. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, and that's, that's, that's business days kind of stuff, right? Yep. Um, but now it's going to be like a week. <laughs> there, there's a lot of people. We're getting closer and closer to the bunker being ready. Yep. And getting closer and closer to, you know, figuring out the exact dates, the rates, and the things like that. Yeah, there's still a lot of things to put put the right. ducks in the row, as they say. Right. So we're, we're getting pretty darn close to it with the holidays and how busy everything is. Um... Yeah, I imagine that makes it a little bit tougher on you, who does all the scheduling and making sure that there's still content and such. Right. And because I mean, the goal obviously is we, we still want to produce content, but we're always realistic and we communicate to everybody. You know, um, if there's going to be if there's not going to be content, and what reason there's not going to be content? Um, I get some good stuff lined up for the next week, but again, I do want to make sure that everybody here gets the chance to take some time off and spend time with the families for Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's super important to us. So, yeah, and just, you know, striking that nice balance to make sure that I've got enough content to put out during the Christmas times, even if it's uh, a little bit different or um, not quite the regular schedule. Yep. Um, and communicating that effectively with everybody. Um, but then making sure that we also have enough content when we get back. That it's not a big rush and make, right. oh, well, this one we're shooting today has to be up for tomorrow because we have nothing, right? right? So it's trying to avoid that scramble. And it's also coordinating with guests in the short term and then coordinating, you know, making sure we have enough content there. But then also talking to the guests that want to come in in the approximate time frame that we're thinking the bunker is going to be ready or we'll be moving over or things like that. So right, because right now is it, it's a span of a couple months because we're not sure yet. Or has it been kind well, of narrowed down a little bit? It hasn't been narrowed down that, month, uh, that much. There's basically a three-month window that a lot of things are going to be happening. Mm -hmm. But it, it's it's not knowing fully the logistics of what the move is going to look like and other stuff. Right. Um, and how much stress that's going to put on the company. And so there's a couple different ideas floating around, but ultimately it's one where we've got a couple rough ideas and it's, it's my job to figure out what the best way to do it is and then manage it as we do it. Yay, responsibility! Yeah, it's super fun. No, it's actually it's, it's a super <laughs> exciting time, so it's, it's loads of fun. Um, but lately, we've had, uh, like, we, we always get a good variety of guests coming in, but we had more people playing 30K than usual. Right. Uh, so there will be a, a, a decent amount of 30K coming over the next little while. So that's, if you've never watched 30K, but you're into, if you're interested in 40K, and especially the, the lore of 40K, and the more narrative style games, I highly encourage you to check out the 30K stuff if you haven't yet. Uh, it's probably still by far my favorite setting to play in. It has always been super cool, and the legions all have their own very specific feel to them. Right, and once you get into the lore and you understand the rules and all that, it's a lot more than just, you know, simple marine on marine. Mm-hmm. And there's a, lot of, there's a lot more variety there than what people realize that haven't checked it out. So I'd encourage you to kind of look at that stuff. And uh, I actually have plans on making a new thumbnail. I got one about half done. Okay, yeah. But uh, so there's gonna be a new thumbnail coming out. Nice. Rob's thumbnails were always kind of old manish. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> um, other than that, 
I have got my Lord of the Rings stuff out getting painted. Oh, okay. Uh, by my buddy Trevor. If you guys watch the, the Age of Sigmar videos, especially, you'll probably recognize Trevor. He plays Death. He plays yep. 40k with me before, too. Yep, he comes in fairly Trevor. often. Yeah, he got a new job recently, so he hasn't been around as much, but uh, he was in playing the other day, so he's going to be painting up some Lord of the Rings stuff for me. And, and then Again, what army do you have going for that? Um, It's going to be probably... I can't remember the actual name of it. It's, it's Azog's. Azog's Legion, but then okay. oh, sorry, Azog's Hunters right. is going to be kind of the core of the force. Um, I'm going to expand, I'll add more of the Legion stuff to it. And that's that's the white orc from the Hobbit movies. Yeah, the pale orc and the, the pale orc, orc. Yeah. and then uh, Bolg. Right. Um, and then the wargs and the hunter orcs cool. are kind of the core of the force right now. And I'll add more stuff as we kind of grow that out. But hopefully we'll start to cover that. A little bit here and there over the next little while. I think uh, Luca and Steve have got enough spa uh, enough stuff painted. They can start to play games every once in a while, and mm -hmm. we'll we'll see if there's interest enough to keep that uh, going once we put it out. I got to get my Easterlings repainted. Yeah. Yep. It's really. I just have that awkward thing of all of my painting stuff is in Toronto. Well, you just bring it to not Toronto. Yeah, but to this this building that you work in. That... <sighs> I know that would just be logical, though. That would make sense. I don't know. I, sh uh, I should do that. Probably. Well, yeah. But you gotta actually just do it. I know. And then other than that, um, I have got enough Titanicus stuff that I can start playing some games. Right. Once it finishes getting painted. Which, after I'm done talking to you, I'm gonna pop down to Lee. Yep. Which, that's been sitting on his table right now, so... Yeah, so, I mean, Games Workshop has been... Uh, They've been slowly trickling stuff out. Mm hmm So right now I got a pair of warlords, a pair of warhounds, and a reaver. Okay. Which is enough to play some, you know, pretty solid games with a little bit of variety. And then you got the three little knights that come yeah, with the three little knights that come with it. Um, I didn't get the Sarastas knights because eh, I couldn't care less. Like I I'm here to play with the Titans. Right. And then um, Games Workshop has to get some more weapon kits out. Soon. Yeah, it's it's been a slow release. Much as everything else specialist game. So, I mean, like... That's true. I get it, but it wants it. So... And you want it stuff out. now. Pretty much. Because <laughs> uh, I think some of the other specialist games, you can kind of get away with using model kits that already exist and well, doing yeah, some and minor conversions. Conversion stuff. I mean, you look at, like, a Necromunda, because there's other 28 millimeter uh, miniatures you can swap weapons from and all mm -hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But with the Titanic and stuff, it's pretty much, you know, well, this is what it is. They are what they are. So, because I've been saying for a while, I think Titanicus uh, is probably, it feels like the best rule set Games Workshop's put out in the past couple of years that nobody plays. Right. So, but then again, one of my other buddies, uh, David White, again, if you watch the channel, you're familiar with uh, him. Yep. He just got his Titanicus stuff. Okay. And... I know his goal was to get it built and painted as soon as possible. We have a tentative date set up to play some games uh, near the end of the holidays. And hopefully one, Titanics will be one of the games we play. I hope. Okay. So we'll see. Nice. No promises, but I'm working on it. Trying. Trying for it. All right. So yeah, I think that's all I've got. Okay. Well, if that's all you got, then I'm going to pop downstairs to see what Lee's up to. Sounds good. And now we're downstairs. With Lee Yay. and miniatures, all the miniatures and all the singing always. <laughs> so what are we working on? We're just talking to Josh, and he was talking about his Titanicus stuff. Yeah, which is pretty much all over the place right now. So we got part of the Warlord right there. Yeah. And then over here. We got more Titans. So that's the one you painted up a while ago, right? Yeah. Back when the first box set came out. Yeah. So we got the little Reaver beside him. All the weapons, all magnetized up, so they actually stick to this fairly nicely. Makes painting easier, right? Yeah. And then we've got all the armor plates still left on the sprue, again, just for ease of painting. Yeah. And what's that? More? That's, uh, more stuff is going to be black. Oh, okay. I'll just cut it off. Because I'm just going to finish, because the Legion he's using has a, like a bone and black Snake theme. out of here. Yep. So I'm just going to finish all the bone ones. Cut them off, and then do the black ones. Okay. Because they have like a gray highlight. Mm-hmm. Gradient type deal. 
So that's Titanicus, but we also have a bunch of other stuff here. What is? This is a doubling up on all the Vanguard stuff. Oh, for the Stormcast, the AOS? Yes. So. I actually, I've had these for, well, since I played the game. Oh, okay. But I had them at home. Mm hmm. And I just brought them in. And we've got the ones you painted up a while ago right yeah. there, right? As a reference. Yep. So it's, yeah, like you said, it was pretty much a duplication of all of what we have. Yeah. Which is still a good chunk. Yes. At least one of everything, if not two. But now we're going to have that much more. Yeah. And I think it's going to be a good addition. Nice. Yeah, there's more over here, too. Oh, oh. Like oh, yes. The riders and the rest of the hunters. Uh huh. Yeah, you, uh, that's a, that's a decent amount of things to be working on. Well, gotta keep busy. Yep, that's a thing. Yeah. And then, of course, your blood angels all and packed up over here. Ready to go upstairs. Now, you were supposed to play 30k this Monday, yep. but. We got a bump to Friday. Okay. So. As things do, but. We'll see. We'll see if it, hopefully it still happens. Yeah. But I mean, according to Josh, everything's way okay. So. Okay. All right. Because my games usually get bumped around a lot. Yeah. Because whether it's, oh, this person's sick, so the person Lee was going to play against, well, yeah. they're the one who's going to get bumped off to take over the other guest and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. unfortunately, you're in that awkward position. It's <laughs> annoying. Gets all excited it's and then... Very annoying. That's, that's you, Josh, if you're watching this. That's Matthew. Oh. <laughs> Blaming him for it? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, well, you know. Blame the boss, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can get it done on Friday. Me and Luca. Nice, nice. Use my drop pods. For drop potting? Yes. Very nice, very nice. Anything uh, no. fun, crazy, interesting planned for holidays? Oh. I'm not really big on Christmas. Okay. Even though this is the last uh, open world before New Year's, right? It is. Yup. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird how close it is. I know. It's only a couple of weeks. It, it, it feels farther too, but it's... Yeah, it, it's, it's only a couple weeks. It's going to be a blink and it's going to be... And especially because with Christmas being on a Tuesday and Christmas Eve being on a Monday. Yeah. So I feel like... It's probably going to be fairly barren on Monday here anyway. Yeah. And then with the two days, and then you're going to come back on Thursday, Friday, and then have another weekend. It's going to be that. Inter and then with the next week, then there's New Year's. Yeah. Another day off. So that good old fun times of the holiday season. Yeah, but it's, it's good for people who have, like, a real job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be a good Christmas. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm just hoping we get a little bit of snow, because right now we have no snow. Yeah, and a week like what a week ago, everything was just covered. Yep, and then of course it melts, and it's just like the only day I want snow is Christmas, and then every day after that, that's nope, and and yep, it's gonna, it's gonna snow in March. Yep, that's what's gonna happen, yep. and it won't go away till midway through May, and you're gonna be like, I love my life. Yeah, I love Canada. There's worse places to live. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but if that's all we got to say, I'm going to turn this back around to me. Yeah. All right. Oh. Well, sign off time. So, ooh, harsh lighting. Harsh lighting. Um, but yeah, that, that's that been the Open Vault today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. I mean, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Happy and, and a Happy New Year from everyone here at Mini War Gaming. And right now I'm going to go film my other part for the vault, which is going to be uh, everyone's favorite moment of 2018. Fairly relevant to gaming. Um, and, and yeah, so if you're looking forward to seeing that, head on over to the vault and check that out. And if not, uh, I guess I will say Happy War Gaming and Happy New Year.